What's going on guys? So here in this box is a Nintendo Wii that I bought from Wish.com and it's not just any Nintendo Wii, it's uh, what I think is a, a fake Nintendo Wii. I'm like 99% sure it's a fake Nintendo Wii. I don't know for sure because I haven't opened it up yet, but first of all, this thing came in a bag, not even a box, a bag. Came from China and I'll show the picture on, on the screen right now of the listing, uh, but basically I bought it from Wish.com. Um, and as you can see, it's it says Wii, bare metal and package one, 32G SD card, built in 10 to 20 games. So there's a lot going on there. First of all, how do you say 10 to 20? I, I don't know why they can't just say the exact number of games. They say between, between 10 and 20, like it's going to be different on every console. And then just look at this title right here. So 2020 new Wii Samato Sensory Vibration Game Console, Will Family with Sports Entertainment Wireless Video Game Console, built in 10 to 20 game masterpieces so now there's a lot to unpack here obviously but my takeaway is that it's supposedly a nintendo wii um, but from the wording i think it's obviously fake and built-in games means that it's definitely fake um and then just some of the reviews are funny as well but yeah i mean i paid like 99 dollars for this uh plus shipping so like 110 which is pretty expensive considering you can buy an actual wii for the same amount or probably even less honestly um but let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside so I'm actually really interested to see what's in here because I've never bought anything from Wish.com. Um, I know a lot of people have done unboxings and stuff, but yeah, it's literally a bag. Shipping label is there, um, covered up for obvious reasons. And yeah, this thing shipped from China. I think it took about two weeks to get to me, um, which is honestly not terrible. It's not one of the nice bags where you can where it has like a perforated edge. You gotta actually slice it open. All right, so as I sliced it open, lots of debris came off. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. I'm really interested because it's in a bag, not even a box. Like how how sketchy can you be? It's literally just bubble wrap. It looks like I got it bought from eBay. I guess it looks like something I would ship out, ship out on eBay. Um, just like a generic used console. So uh, yeah, just generic bubble wrap here. Wrapped up with some like orange or yellow tape a little bit. And then here is something else. I don't know what that is. That kind of feels like the stand. Kind of feels like what's supposed to be the Wii stand. That's uh, that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and we'll start with this. All right, so assuming it's a Wii stand, but of course we don't actually know until you open it up. Got some kind of like duct tape stuff on it. And here it is, it's wrapped up in some nice little, I don't even know what you call this, some nice wrapping. Um, yeah, so definitely the stand. Pretty much a Wii stand, except it's definitely a knockoff. You can, you can tell it's cheaper plastic, and it doesn't have a little circular base, so it's not even a good base. Like, if you knock this thing over, it's definitely falling over. Um, so there's part one. Got got our base. And then here is, I guess, the console. So let's go ahead and see what's inside of this thing. Flip it over some more. Oh, here we go. We got some actual packaging now. All right, so one more layer of bubble wrap, and we have an actual box. Last layer of bubble wrap, finally. It's just, I don't know why they didn't just ship it in a box. I guess it's probably cheaper to ship overseas in a bag. Um, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, here it is, so. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. So first of all, made in China. I guess this is saying recyclable for the box. Um, it clearly says we, but it's like morphed into a U. Uh, the W definitely looks like the Wii font from Nintendo, but it, uh, at the same time, it looks off. Um, obviously, this is off because it's got like a U attachment. They call it a Wii uh, custom console case. It's almost like they're saying Wii U. That's actually a little clever. Wii, and then there's a U built in. Uh, so Wii custom console case. Replace your existing console case with a unique custom replacement case kit. Hold up. Hold on a second. All right, I'm hoping this box is wrong because from reading this out, from reading this, it sounds like it's just a replacement case for my Nintendo Wii. Dude. It said it had 10 to 20 built-in games, so... Somebody's lying. Alright. And... Dude, this looks legit. Like, it looks exactly like a Wii. Holy crap, this is, like, extremely similar. <laughs> Dude, it's even got the, the ATI right here. It says Nintendo. The Nintendo font is clear, clearly off. Um, you got some stuff down here. Clearly off as well. But RVL-001 is definitely the right part number. It even says 2006 Nintendo. The font color is definitely off. 
definitely wrong. Um, you got the same pads. You got, you got your like same vent down here. Here in the back, oh, definitely the same. You got your sensor bar. You got your two USB slots, um, AV and power. Up top, you got. Dude, it even has GameCube controller slots and two memory card slots. I don't even know if you can see that very well, but there's four GameCube. It's just like a Nintendo Wii on top. On the front, you got the same exact buttons, power, reset, eject, same slot. It apparently comes with a SD card that has um, some games built in apparently. Dude, that's, that's wild. It's, it looks exactly like the Wii. There's obviously, if you look closely, it's definitely off. Like the fonts are off and stuff. Um, clearly, the power reset and eject buttons just look off a little bit. Like the the uh, power button here is like smudged. Let me see if I can zoom in on that so you can see. Like if you look closely at that, the power button, like the symbol, is a little bit smudged. Like it got messed up in the printer, or however they put the uh, text on there. Um, and yeah, I mean. Clearly the label is similar, but definitely not the same as the original Wii label. But they clearly try to be like the Wii label because it says 2006 Nintendo. So I guess my takeaway here is that it works just like a Nintendo Wii. I guess you can put GameCube games in and Wii games in and play them, um, but it also comes in with some built-in games. So I'm pretty interested to plug this thing in and try out my Nintendo Wii accessories with it and see if it actually works. Now the thing is, they definitely either shipped me the wrong thing or they just lied because I'll show you on the screen right now the description. Um, it says it comes with the uh, the Wii, um, the 30, 32 gigabyte SD card, power supply, AV video cable, sensor bar, um, a disc, and an HDMI cable. But it come it came with none of that. It just came with the the console and the stand. So I'm pretty curious right now to see if the uh, the regular Nintendo stuff will actually plug into here and work, um, and if the regular Wii controller will work. But uh. Yeah, pretty sketchy, but uh, let's go ahead and try it out. All right, guys, so here it is, and honestly, I just can't get over how similar it looks to the Wii. I even have a real Wii right here to compare. Um, I'm sorry, this one's kind of taken apart a little bit, so it's not in perfect condition, but uh, let's put them side by side and give a little bit of a view. So, I mean, yeah, they're pretty dang similar. The text is a bit darker on everything here. This one is like a light gray. This is like a dark gray over here, um, but I mean, the button placements are the same. Disc slot is the same little flap is the same on the top and front obviously this one's a little bit more put to, well put together solid this one seems a little bit lighter um, but I mean they just <laughs> same exact color same size and everything they just look extremely similar kinda wild but so now I got everything plugged in I got my uh, sensor bar plugged in my AV cable plugged in. Don't have the power plugged in all the way because I kind of want to give leave some suspense and see if the power actually lights up when I plug it in. But I also have some Wii games, a GameCube controller, a Wii controller. We're gonna try everything. So let's go ahead and try to plug the power in and see if it boots up. All right, so I'm plugging in the power in three, two, one. Oh, we got life. So it actually does work. Well, I haven't actually turned it on yet, but it looks like it works with the regular Wii power supply. All right, so three, two, one. Oh crap, it's uncanny. It's exactly the same. No way, dude. <laughs> this is exactly the same. All right, now let's see if we can get this controller to connect. So, should be a sync button right there. Hold that down. And then I gotta open up my controller here. And hold down that sync button. It connected, holy crap. No way. This is wild. Dude, like it's definitely just a alright, I gotta get these games out of the way. So I can actually reach the sensor bar. It works. It's just like a regular Wii. We got all this stuff on it. We got the SNES, M Player C, Game Boy Advance, NES, Backup Launcher, GameCube Backup Launcher, Soft Chip, Neo Gamma Loader. USB loader. I got Buzz Lightyear flying across the screen there. Retro Arch Wii. Off Wii. Bunch of channels. I don't know anything about all, any of this stuff right here. I'm sure some of you guys might, but looks like a basically a little bit of everything. 
So this is where our SD card stuff, save data cannot be loaded directly. So they're somehow using the SD card in there to put these preloaded games on there, I guess. Um, and I guess because they're not using the official Wii software, they can somehow get around all that stuff. Or maybe they are, I, I, don't, I really don't know. Um, but I mean, like, the Wii options are exactly the same. It's basically a Wii, but, like, the outer case is a little bit different. This is, uh, <laughs> this is crazy. They got everything. This is so wild. Let's try, uh, I don't know, let's try game first. I just want to kind of try the actual Wii games and see if they work. All right, so we got the classic Wii Sports. Let's go ahead and, I mean, even the light-up sequence of the disc tray is exactly the same. The way it sounds when it sucks the disc in sounds exactly the same as the Wii. The disc channel so far looks exactly the same as the Wii. And there's Wii Sports. Crazy, man. All right, so here it is, guys. I mean, yeah, it's, it's uncanny. You got all your people that come, I can't even pronounce. MM, Junjun, BB, Guest. <laughs> it's kind of funny to come up with pre-built people on here. So whoever was, wherever this came from, they already are playing with these guys because this guy already has some built-in skills. <laughs> um, Funny, I'm about to get a strike. Maybe. Not even close. Alright, Wii Mini looks exactly the same. Nice. Alright, so we're going to eject this disc now, and we're going to test out a GameCube game. Since I'm assuming if Wii Sports works, then uh, Mario Kart should work, so we're not, not going to try that out right now. Alright, so for the GameCube, we got Luigi's Mansion. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Hopefully it works, otherwise that disc is going to get stuck in there. And we actually got to plug in our GameCube controller too. Uh, first, let's just see if it loads up. And then we'll try to plug in the GameCube controller. Yeah, there it is. Nintendo GameCube. All right, got the controller plugged in, fits perfectly. Now let's go ahead and boot up this game and we shall see if it works. Whoa, what is that? Dios Mios. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So they must be using some sort of some sort of like I don't know emulation software or something. This game can't be saved. That's weird. oh I gotta put in an actual memory card. You gotta put in an actual GameCube memory card to save. Oh well, dude, it's clearly working. Yep, using using the GameCube controller and everything. It's just crazy. Dang man. Yeah, that uh. Wii games and GameCube games definitely work. So let's go back to the main menu now and let's try out those other random apps and stuff they have. All right, so I ejected the disc and I'm back on the main menu now. I'm pretty interested in this Game Boy Advance right here. All right, so here we are, up one level, ROM, ROMs, let's go. Oh, so maybe I gotta, I gotta load my own ROMs onto here. What in the world? I'm just like on a, <laughs> I'm just like exploring the SD card right now. All right, yeah, so it definitely looks like I have to load my own ROMs for the Game Boy Advance if I were to do that. Super Nintendo, so, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see if there's any games loaded here. All right, so SNES, 9X, GX. Yeah, so I don't see any ROMs here. Interesting. So it appears that they've loaded all these players for you, but haven't actually loaded any ROMs or anything. But they basically set it up so that you can actually, um play backups of games Genesis plus GX all right so play game I can't even select here what's going on that's weird so I'm on play game but I can't even select anything oh it's because I haven't selected a game you gotta actually load a game then you press play game so same thing you gotta actually load games here to to play them <laughs> all right well, when I left that Genesis app I seem to have broken the console uh, I pressed reset and it's not doing anything I can't power down. When I press eject, it tries to eject, but there's no disk in there. So I guess I'm going to have to do a hard reset. All right, so I unplugged it, plugged it back in. We're back online now, and here we go. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess we're about to the end of this video. This is uh, pretty wild, though, that it's basically an exact replica of the Wii. Obviously, it looks a little bit different. Text is a little bit different. The, the build quality is not quite as good. 
stand is a bit different. Didn't come with any power power supply or sensor or anything. I'm gonna have to message the seller and see what's up with that. But uh, yeah, basically it comes. It's basically a regular Wii. Um, all my regular Wii stuff works. My power supply, my sensor bar, my Wii controller, GameCube controller, GameCube games, Wii can Wii games all work. Um, they also have all of these um, extra games built in here. Well. Basically, the the, the uh, players are built in. You got to actually download your own games to play on them. But pretty crazy. You even got you got everything. I mean, it's basically just regular Wii with all their extra software built in. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty crazy, guys. I wasn't expecting this. I was honestly expecting something that looks kind of like a Wii and just kind of had some built-in games and not to. I didn't expect it to actually have the same exact Wii interface and everything. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm definitely gonna be buying some more stuff off Wish because this is this is pretty dang interesting to find consoles that are almost exact replicas but obviously knockoffs. Um, so yeah, let me know what else you find and uh, or go ahead and go to Wish.com and see what else you find and let me know down in the comments what you want me to buy. I actually bought another knockoff console, what I think is a knockoff. I think it was a Nintendo DS. Uh, we'll see when that comes in, but uh, yeah, that should be interesting as well. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.